For the designer who needs it all, the Autodesk Design Suite Premium 2011 delivers the power and flexibility of AutoCAD with Autodesk Alias Sketch 2011 as well as Autodesk's leading visualization tools, 3ds Max Design 2011 and Showcase 2011. Take your design further by enhancing your AutoCAD workflow. To demonstrate, I'll start by exploring a schematic shape that I can sketch on top of this site image of my project. The goal is to explore some ideas for a pavilion building. At this stage, I want to be very creative and have freedom to explore basic shapes. Using a photograph of the site, I can sketch, paint, manipulate, and edit image concepts by creating initial sketches with Alias Sketch 2011 technology. The exploration of initial sketches can then be used as reference for generating curves. Autodesk Alias Sketch 2011 for AutoCAD was built specifically for AutoCAD users to enhance their workflows by allowing them to freely explore ideas and concepts within the AutoCAD design environment. The standalone version of Alias Sketch 2011 also incorporates the ability to create vectors. You can sketch your design, manipulate the vectors, and save as DWG file format so you can reuse those splines as you begin working in AutoCAD 2011 without having to recreate geometry. In AutoCAD 2011, one of the world's leading 2D and 3D design applications, you can take advantage of a more seamless workflow between initial sketching and 3D modeling. The splines created in Alias Sketch are available as native AutoCAD objects. You can create and edit splines in AutoCAD using fit points or control vertices, and a new grip enables you to easily switch between these methods even after the spline has been created. Flexible new editing tools provide control over the display and curve of spline geometry. With intuitive direct manipulation tools, you can add and remove vertices directly on the spline without having to open a dialog box or palette. This helps you work quicker and with less disruption. In this design, the splines serve as cross-sections for my 3D model. AutoCAD 2011 offers powerful new surface modeling functionality. It enables you to create explicit surfaces with information that is relevant to a particular type of surface. For example, a lofted surface includes information about surface normals, while a swept surface includes the profile rotation. In addition to relevant surface information, explicit surfaces can maintain an association with their defining geometry. This allows for faster editing and greater efficiency when exploring iterations of the design. Here, my building begins to take shape with lofted surfaces created from the original splines. However, this is a conceptual design and destined to change. Fortunately, if I modify the defining splines, the 3D surfaces automatically update, enabling my model to evolve with the design. Lofts and sweeps are just two of the many types of explicit surfaces available in AutoCAD 2011. For example, you can create a network surface between sets of curves or between the edges of other 3D surfaces or solids. I'll use a network surface for the roof of one of the buildings. Another option in this particular case is a patch surface. With AutoCAD 2011, you can easily create a cap or patch between the edges of adjacent surfaces, and you can even specify the continuity between the surfaces. Moving along the design process, I want to create an opening in the second roof to match the shape of the first. I can easily project the spline curves from the lower roof onto the upper roof. The newly created spline has more control vertices than I need, but I can use the Rebuild tool to reduce the number of control vertices to a manageable amount. The new splines serve as cutting edges to trim the roof surface, so I can create a skylight. Even after trimming, the surfaces remain associated with their defining geometry. The trimmed surfaces automatically update as I modify the skylight's footprint, saving time and reducing mistakes. Now I want to slice two of the walls along the roof line 
so I can build the concrete slabs. The new object isolation tools make it easy for you to focus on specific geometry by temporarily hiding the objects you don't need to see. Here I've isolated the upper roof and wall surfaces so I can focus on this part of the design without obstruction. I'll use the new Surface Fillet tool to create smooth curves between the roof and walls with a specified radius. Even after you create a fillet surface, you can easily modify the radius with direct manipulation grips right on the fillet surface. Now I'm ready to thicken the surfaces to create a solid mass. AutoCAD 2011 can easily create a solid from a surface, allowing you to access mass properties and eventually export the model to other Autodesk applications for fabrication. I'm finished working on the concrete slab, at least for now, so I'll end the object isolation and evaluate my design. At any point during the design process, Autodesk Showcase 2011 can be very valuable for design validation. You can more easily evaluate designs in detail and in context, explore alternatives in real time, and communicate the story of the design.